finding new ways to talk about your product or your company is not something that happens in a once frenzied effort. It happens some it happens over over time, in fact. And I don't know about you, but I catch myself uh, sometimes uh, when I go on a walk or when I am in the shower or when I'm with a client, uh, I catch myself thinking about, oh, I could talk about what MetaHelm does uh, this way. I could use that example. And if I don't catch that idea in the moment, then it's gone. Someone, somehow my mind is sending me an idea and if I don't, if I don't capture it, then, then it's over. And we tend to think that being able to craft a compelling narrative for our company, for our business happens in one frenzied effort of, okay, like, you know, one very intense effort of marketing. And actually that's not true. It's a, it's a process. It's something that it evolves over time. It's something that requires repetition. If it's something that requires pressure to, that requires people to interact with so that you can get real-time feedback. And if you don't engage in this, in this process yourself, with yourself, you're missing that opportunity to come across new and potentially good ideas. So one way I've found to capture those new ways to explain what my company does and, and, and also a way that I have taken my clients through a process that I've, I've taught them is to constantly put themselves in a position to be able to talk about their, their company. There are so many, so many things you can tell about your business. So many, so many ideas, so many possibilities, so many possibilities, so many facets of your organization, of your company, of your movement that you could explain so many metaphors that you could use. And you're only going to find the good ones, the ones that resonate with people, that mobilize people, if you generate them on an ongoing basis and if you capture them all the time. So maybe for you, that means that you need to journal more often. You need to be able to write down when you heard yourself or somebody coming up with a good soundbite you need to be able to capture this in writing. Or maybe like I'm doing here, you need to build a habit of recording small videos that will capture those ideas more genuinely. I say, maybe in a little bit more of a rough format, but with, 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 a, with a natural way of explaining that. So I want you to, to consider this and ask yourself, what method do you have to capture in the moment the, the great sound bites, the great ideas, the great ways to frame what you do for others? And how often do you, do you hear yourself say something like, hey, I, I actually should say this. I, should, I actually should talk about it. Oh, that was good. And what do you do to repurpose those ideas in the next iteration of how you're going to talk about your business. See, building a strategic narrative is not about creating a great shiny presentation deck, like, you know, thinking of a product that comes out of a very intense and deep creative process. It's actually a much longer process. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's actually a long lasting process during which you never know when inspiration is going to hit you. The narrative is actually something that you create in collaboration with people. Narratives are socially built, whereas creative objects are sometimes, maybe oftentimes, the result of one person, one or one smaller group of, smaller group of people crafting something. A strategic narrative is really this act of socially connecting with people and putting in front of them new ideas that they can react with and they can react to. All right, so think about it. During the day, if you have a thought, if you have something that you think help you make people understand your business, get behind it, get excited with it, make sure you've got the right system to, to catch it. 
and make sure that you do that on a consistent on a consistent basis.